On a clear sunny day, the sky is brilliantly blue. But why? This question pops in everyone's mind. Why is the sky blue? To understand why the sky is blue, we have to understand the nature of the sunlight and how it interacts with gas molecules and particles in our atmosphere. The sunlight is composed of electromagnetic rays like X-rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet rays, radio waves, as well as visible light rays. Our atmosphere is composed of about 71% nitrogen and 28% oxygen molecules, while the remaining 1% includes gases like argon and halogen. These molecules are super abundant in our atmosphere and are so small that they are even smaller than the wavelength of visible light. The visible light spectrum for a human being ranges from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers of wavelength. When sunlight enters the atmosphere, dangerous waves like x-rays, gamma rays, and ultraviolet rays are blocked by the ozone, while other waves like radio waves enter but are not visible to human sight. Since red wavelengths are the longest, they pass through the tiny particles and strike less often, while blue wavelengths, due to their shorter wavelengths, are more likely to strike through particles more often. In 1871, a British scientist, Lord Rayleigh, described the phenomenon that when the electromagnetic radiation strike through particles that have a radius less than approximately 1 by 10 times the wavelength of a radiation, they disperse. This phenomenon is known as Rayleigh scattering and is given the expression that is capital I is proportional to 1 by lambda raised to the power of 4. Where I is the intensity of scattering and lambda is the wavelength, now it is clear from the expression that when the value of lambda increases, the value of intensity of scattering decreases and vice versa. So the scattering at 400 nanometers is 10 times greater than the scattering at 700 nanometers. Therefore, violet and blue wavelengths scatter the most into the atmosphere. We see the sky as blue light. Now you will be wondering, if violet waves have the smallest wavelengths, why isn't the sky purple? The answer is wavelengths of violet waves is between 380 nanometers and 450 nanometers. Because our visible spectrum starts from 400 nanometers, we cannot see the violet waves less than 400 nanometers. That's why for the same reason, violet has less intensity on rainbow. So blue wavelength as a second smallest turns our sky into beautiful blue. This phenomenon can be different for other creatures. Animals, birds, or insects have different range of visible spectrum. They may see the sky as a completely different color. Here's a list of visible spectrum on some of the animals. Now you know. Stay curious, ask questions, and always, Thanks for watching.